All right, first thing you're gonna do on here is you're gonna go into edit yearbook after you've logged in. And then you have this lovely set of pages. All right, so the first thing that you're going to learn to do is insert photos, except Riker is working on this page. So we're gonna go to this page. Yeah, we're gonna skip this. Graphics or my photos. You should be signed into your account, so you should have the folder that has all of our photos shared on it. And the way you put in a photo is to drag and drop. Yay, congratulations. Okay. Okay, next thing we're gonna look at is how to align photos on your laptop you're gonna hit the shift key and the first photo is the one that's going to line them up but uh, actually let's do this too we're going to copy size and style so notice how these photos are not the same size as these ones this is the original it's going to only copy that one okay all right, so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to want to line things up. If you do your first photo, you can use the arrow keys until... And then you can drag a bunch of photos kind of where you want them. Those are kind of, well, but I'm going to emphasize the point by going here. Uh -huh. Shift key again. Are you watching, Riker? Uh -uh. Okay. Go to alignment and space, align uh -huh. left. And then you can go to uh, distribute them equally using this button. And that saves a lot of time. All right, just to emphasize the point, a lot of work can be saved by using your shift key. So we copy size and style. We copy, oh, copy size and style on all of these right here. Copy size and style. And then because that one got moved, we're gonna distribute it again. Right here, vertically. And we're gonna go here, align it to the top, and then distribute it horizontally. Okay, so you get the idea on how to use those tools. <coughs> so to add a caption, you are going to select your photo, turn on captions, edit the caption and then you can put the person's name the person's name right here and then hit X and it's gonna show up like that and then the font will be right here change the font I will give you a particular font which we haven't decided yet but also the size is right here change it whatever needs yeah. to be um, and the orientation <laughs> and the color <laughs> what okay sometimes you cannot hang on a second I'm trying to finish this video all right, sometimes you have a photo that you need to zoom in on the subject. You're going to double click that subject. You're going to drag the zoom over. And then you, after you've got it where you want it, then you can drag the person where you want them to. Uh, you can also change the opacity of a photo. But I don't know why you'd ever want to do that. But there you go it's an option. You can affect the chat and other things as well. Uh, when you want to adjust the background, you click on the background. 
section here you can do a separate background or you can do both at the same time right now I'm doing a separate background so if I did this it would only affect one of them or I could do both and I can do both and it'll affect both maybe still loading anyway or you can go back to solid color you can also put a photo in the background yeah I am thanks for interrupting anyway so you can put a photo in the background now you can also use the preloaded layouts if you want if you know you're going to use it you can do that lots of layouts when you click on one of these it automatically fills your space with places to drag photos and you can drag a photo in there and it will allow you to mess with it that's all for now